and clandestinely won in the August 9th polls. Cross examined by lawyer Mansour Issa for the petitioner of former NHIF CEO Hassan Adam, the governor reiterated his clean win in the gubernatorial race against competitors and was not in any case involved in the election irregularities that led to its postponement. Moses Okech reports. At the Milimani Law Courts before Justice George Ndulu and being cross examined by lawyer Mansu Isa, Hojia First Governor Ahmed Abdullah Jia was put to task to explain his gubernatorial win in this year's August polls. And this, you remember, I mean, you know that governors are counted last of the six. That's true. Yeah, right? So depending on what time it's closed. Sometimes they'll even say to Mechoka, let's take a break and whatever. So it didn't happen that I received any significant results from any constituents that I know until, until when I got the final tallies myself. In his defense, Abdullahi told the court of the 12 sub-clans in Degodia and 11 others that unanimously endorsed him and only the five sub-clan to which his petitioner belongs was indecisive. But it's not supported by numbers and numbers don't lie. Petitioner says I got 90% in most of the polling stations. The question then is how does my average turn out to be about 57% in Wajia West? So um, within your uh, presumed strongholds, there will be places you go higher, there will be places where you won't score much also because as I said, even within those strongholds, there will be dynamics um, that come into play. Justice George Ndulu noted that the communication for the postponement was done by the REBC chair Wafula Chebukati after complaints of insecurity in Eldas constituency. Abdullahi claims the violences will not have resulted to the postponement of the elections which was brought about by parliamentary candidates. I was not in any I thought that would suffice that, uh, you know, yeah. I was not into the Tula ward. I haven't been there. In the petition, Hassan Mohammed Adam had told the court that IEBC unlawfully and without sufficient reason postponed the election in Eldas constituency within Wajia County to 10th of August this year and did not put in mechanism for biometrical voters' identification before voting as well as communicating to the candidates about the postponement despite deploying their agents to the respective polling stations. He therefore claims that Abdullah was not validly elected as governor for Wajia County and seeks that the court declare their wins invalid. Hamad Abdullahijia vied for the governor's seat on an ODM ticket, garnering 35,533 votes, with his competitor Hassan Adam garnering 27,224 votes. As the Ojia governor petition continues, the court is yet to examine the 90% win for Abdullahi in Ojia, with his clan having a 60% population and 40% did not vote. For him. So you even did better in 20 Moses Okech, Look Up TV. Farmers from Nyandara County are happy lot.